Time now to move from acids to bases. So we're going to define strong bases and weak bases and then uh, look at strong bases, what makes a strong base and then how to calculate the pH of a strong base. Then subsequently work out uh, pHs of weak bases. So this is sort of going to be similar to the arguments we made for strong acids and weak acids. So for strong bases and weak bases, we know that water breaks apart uh, only very slightly to H plus and OH minus ions. If you have a strong base, and M there is a, a metal, probably a group one metal in this case, then we'd say that 100% of the time it breaks apart when it goes into solution into the metal ion and the hydroxide ion, and that would be a strong base. But you could have a species which does something between the water and the strong base. I've re represented it in a slightly different way uh, than from the water and the MOH here, because I've suggested that the weak base itself will interact with our water molecule, and in doing so it will take off an H plus from that water molecule to make BH plus, and that will leave behind the OH minus. This is a little bit more accurate a description of what actually goes on when a weak base is put into solution. Anyway, what's important is that the amount of OH- minus produced is somewhere in between. The amount of OH- minus which is produced when water uh, naturally dissociates in this way and uh, the amount of OH- minus which you'll get when a strong base is put into solution. So it's anywhere between, I would say, a few percent. And uh, how does this fit on the pH scale? Well, uh, so water and uh, uh, spectator ions we've got as pH 7, a strong base with OH minus ions of 1 mole per decimeter cubed, and we'll have a pH of 14, and a weak base will be between the 7 and 14. So one of the things we want to go and do is now to prove that the pH of a strong base 1 molar solution is 14. It's going to follow a similar argument to when we proved that the pH of water was 7. So I just want to uh, clear something up, which uh, I've often found people make a mistake on. If we have sodium hydroxide, then sodium is a metal, and so it will not bond with hydroxide to make a covalent bond. This doesn't happen. What does happen is that if we have NaOH AQ in solution, it will have completely broken apart to form Na plus ions and OH minus ions. The same would happen for potassium hydroxide, same group, KOH. Um, group 1 hydroxides are often used as bases because they're, they're soluble. The group 2 bases, the, the group 2 hydroxides aren't necessarily soluble. So uh, you don't uh, always see them being used as uh, strong bases. If we have uh, one of these uh, solutions, then the Na plus or the K plus will be neutral spectator ions, but the hydroxide ions, they will give uh, a pH of 14 if the concentration is one mole per decimeter cubed. So that's what makes it a strong base, this high concentration of OH minus. So uh, how do you calculate the pH of a strong base? Well, we're going to say the OH minus is the same as the base concentration that you're given. Then we're going to say that the pOH, not pH, P, but pOH is minus log of the uh, OH minus concentration. And then we're going to say that pH plus pOH equals 14 and rearrange that to get the pH. So let's go through this to see whether I can uh, help uh, this seem a bit more to make sense. So if we have one mole per decimeter cubed KOH, group one hydroxide, strong base, the OH minus concentration is the same as that base concentration is one mole per decimeter cubed. The pOH is minus log of it. So minus log of that concentration, minus log of one is zero. And then pH, if we rearrange this, would be 14 minus pOH. So 14 minus zero is 14. So all we've really done is just prove that our one molar strong base has got a pH of 14. Uh, if we move on to uh, not a 1 mole per decimeter cubed solution, 0 0.05 mole per decimeter cubed NaOH, so still a strong base. OH minus concentration is 0 0.05 mole per decimeter cubed. The pOH is minus log of that concentration, which is 1.3, and then pH, uh, using this again, is 14 minus that pOH. 14 minus 1.3 is 12.7. 
So uh, on our pH scale, the one mole uh, strong one mole per decimeter cube strong acid strong base sorry has a pH of 14, whereas the less concentrated strong base you've got less OH minus ions around, so its pH is not quite so high. So there's an equation which uh, we've used in calculating the pH of bases, strong bases, which was the uh, pOH plus pH equals 14, uh, which I'd like to give you a proof of here. Uh, water dissociates very slightly to OH minus and H plus. Kw states the extent to which that occurs. It's uh, the concentration of OH minus times the concentration of H plus. At uh, room temperature, the concentration of both of these is very small, 10 to the minus 7 moles per decimeter cubed. So uh, that's the same for both of them. Multiply that together. That gives a numerical value of 10 to the minus 14 uh, for Kw at 298 degrees Kelvin or room temperature. And then we can work out pKw as being a minus log of that. And minus log of 10 to the minus 14 is 14. Now we can also write pKw uh, in a different way. We can say it's p of well, these things there, if we're just doing minus log of both, so P of OH minus concentration multiplied by the H plus concentration. Now, because uh, P in effect is just a log, then if you do log of uh, this times that, it uh, is equal to log of this plus log of that. So that's uh, P OH plus the pH equals the pKW, which we said is equal to 14. So there's the proof of this equation, and the reason why it's useful is we can work out pH uh, if we know pOH, which is more likely uh, the thing we're going to work out if we've got a basic solution. Let's just conclude by uh, answering this question. What do I need to work out the pH of a strong base? So either definitely might be useful or definitely not. So first one, then we've got uh, formula of the base. Well, I would say the formula of the base might be useful. Uh, so that you can just identify that it is a strong base. You want to be looking for a, a group 1 hydroxide here, something like NaOH or KOH. Okay, uh, pKW. Do you need pKW? Yes, you do. You need to know that that is equal to 14, because then you can say pH equals 14 minus the pOH. Uh, concentration of the base. Yes, we definitely need that. So both of these are definitely so far. Because we're going to say that the OH minus concentration is equal to the concentration of the base. PKB of the base. Uh, no, we'll need that for weak bases, but not for a strong base. We haven't talked about PKB yet. And volume of the solution. No. Concentrations, but not volumes. So once again, covered quite a lot here, defining strong bases, weak bases, and talking about strong bases, what makes a strong base, and how to calculate the pH of a strong base. Next, we'll go on to weak bases.